and welcome to the news hour. Today is Kargil Divas. Today is the day when we remember 17 years later the valor, the sacrifice, the martyrdom, and the ultimate bravery of our heroes of Kargil. Today should also be a day when a section of pseudo liberals should ask themselves whether they have a right to comment, to speak, or to write one word on the Cargill Brave Arts, when many of these pseudo-liberals have been vilifying our army, abusing our army, and pressurizing our army and our paramilitary forces operating in the most hostile of circumstances in Jammu and Kashmir, non-stop, day after day, and week after week. Viewers, for the last three weeks, this narrow but vocal section, which includes vested interests in some parts of the media, have been openly and shockingly trying to echo the Pakistani line. In the guise of backing Kashmiris, these sections, including sections of the media, are doing everything possible to support Pakistan sitting here in India, and they call themselves Indian liberals, Indian media. They're Indian pseudo-liberals and certainly not real Indian media. They're supporting Pakistan. Directly or indirectly, they are supporting the ISI, supporting Rawal Pindi. They're supporting Hafiz Saeed, using the death, the killing of a terrorist as a peg they have tried to project Burhan Wani as some kind of local boy butchered by security forces. That is the kind of fake narrative they are trying to build. These people are dangerous. They try to build a false imagery that Burhan Wani was an innocent son of a headmaster and the Indian state, cruel as it is, was at fault. What a lie. Viewers, for three weeks and more, you have heard this group peddle their lies. You've heard this group openly, pro-Pakistan activists operating out of India, carrying an Indian passport, some of them posing as some kind of journalist, starting to drum up a campaign orchestrated and planned across the border for Azadi in Kashmir. They're writing articles, they're giving interviews unstopped. Some of these pseudo-journalists give away operational details of the movement the logistical deployment and the activities of our armed forces when they are taking on these terrorists, openly compromising their security. This is the same group, viewers, that backed those who chanted for Bharat's Barbadi in JNU. This is the same people, the same out-of-work writers who called Afzal Gurus hanging a tragedy. And viewers, I'm asking you on the news are tonight, how long will you be silent against these elements? Why should we be silent against these elements? Do these people compromise our national security or not? Your and my security. And if they do, which we know they do, why do we let them get away? Why don't we take on these people? Why don't we start exposing one by one, one by one, bit by bit, part by part, but in a thought out manner, why don't we expose this pro-Pakistan lobby operating in India. Why do we give them no chance to get away this time? I would say that this is the least that we can do and we should do on a day when we honor and remember our bravest. That's debate number one on the news hour tonight. The pro-Pak doves are silent as Pakistan spreads terror, their fake narrative is now being exposed. Across India, the anger against this pro-Pak lobby has grown. That's debate number one on the news hour at 9 p.m.